right, here we are, Wednesday morning, and um, a little bit of freestyle fitness yoga. So we're going to start gentle. We're going to start with a little bit of mobilizing exercises, get that body moving. So I've just put some music on, and there we go. Have a little roll round of the shoulders. So we do always start our sessions with a shoulder roll. It's a good way to get moving. In the uh, yoga, it's a bit slower and it's a little bit more graceful. So don't think about going too fast. Just gently rolling round, loosening up. Try and get as much movement as you can. So all the way back, up nice and high and then forwards and down. And then just reverse it so we go the other way. Lift in and then rolling back. We're opening out the chest as we roll those shoulders back. Ah. Fantastic. Let's have a little circle motion with the arm. Take one arm and just bring your arm round in slow circles. Just to loosen up that shoulder again. And then we're just going to switch that to a figure of eight, swooping round, swooping round, gently, gracefully, breathing deeply as you go. Fantastic. Let's do the other arm. So starting off with circles forwards. Very good. And a figure of eight. Round we go. Looping round. Fantastic. Give me a little twizzle. Just rotating your body side to side. Let your body turn naturally. Arms just hanging down and just swinging round. Dun, dun, dun. Fantastic. And bring yourself back to neutral position, facing forwards. Perfect. So just going to do a quick reminder of the pelvic tilt. We did this a couple of weeks ago when we did our goddess and we're going to revisit the goddess today. So just a little reminder first of the pelvic tilt. So I'm just going to step back a little bit and you're going to imagine you just take your hands onto the sides. Imagine that there's a circle around your waist. If you can see the line between my top and my shorts, to tilt the pelvis you're going to tilt backwards you're going to tilt forwards. The neutral position, that line is going to be horizontal. So I just want you to have a go at tilting forwards, tilting back. And it's just going to rotate the pelvis forwards and back. Imagine that this is the brim of a cup and the cup is full to the brim of water. And you're going to tip water out the front and you're going to tip water out the back. So just by rotating that pelvis forwards and back, you're tipping the water out the front, you're tipping the water out the back. It's called posterior pelvic tilt and anterior pelvic tilt. Okay, posterior towards the back, anterior towards the front. So just give me a few little extra rotations and see if you can increase the range of motion. This is gonna flex your spine and it's really good for your lower back and your hip flexibility. Fantastic. We will revisit that later on. That's just a little reminder. But first, let's do a few little breathing exercises and raising our arms up. So let's take a nice, slow, deep breath into the count of four. Inhale through your nose, one, two, three, four, and exhale, one, two, three, 
four. Let's do that again. Inhale, one, two, three, four, and exhale, one, two, three, four. Now as we inhale, we're gonna raise the hands up overhead, palms facing each other, inhale, and then as we exhale, we're going to bring the hands down to the front and back down to the sides. Let's do that again. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. And again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. We're going to do that twice more. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Now feet, if your feet are wide like mine, just bring them a little bit closer together, directly under the hips. This time, we're gonna inhale. And then as we exhale, we're gonna do a little um, bend of the knees, yeah? So we're gonna inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Oh, it's our chair position. Inhale, straighten out the knees. And then exhale, arms down. Let's do that twice more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, straighten the legs. And exhale, arms down. Little shake out. Fantastic. So, We've just done a little bit of movement through those arms, raising the arms up. We're going to go into our goddess pose now, which we did this a couple of weeks ago. So I'm just, we'll just uh, remind you of how this works. And we'll start gentle and we'll gradually take it a little bit lower. So take the feet a little bit apart. Okay, now, bend the knees and just lower yourself down a little bit. So we'll start here. This is a good starting point. Now, remember that tilt. For the goddess position, we need posterior tilt. So what I want you to do is imagine that you're tipping the water out the back of the cup. You're bringing it upwards at the front, downwards at the back. That's going to keep your back straight. Okay, so we're just going to hold this position. Arms anywhere you like to start with. And just think about that rotation of the hips, keeping your back straight. Let's take a couple of breaths here. At your own speed, but think about roughly four seconds inhaling, four seconds exhaling. You'll feel the muscles in your legs working, holding you here. Two more breaths. And then straighten out those legs. That's a good start. So what we're gonna try and do, we'll do, we'll bring in the arm position next, and then we'll see if we can sink deeper into the pose, yeah. So, I'm gonna have a little shake up. Let's go again. Start off just by bending the knees and sinking down. Now, when you feel you're sort of comfortable-ish, make sure you get that tilt. So we're gonna rotate the front up, the back goes down, yeah? So we're tipping the water out the back of the cup, and we're gonna bring the arms up into this position. And we're just gonna hold it here for a few breaths. This is a nice, long, static hold. Keep that tilt on the pelvis, Remember tilting upwards at the front so your back is nice and straight. You'll feel those legs working to hold you in position. Let's do two more breaths.
Fantastic. And then when you're ready, slowly straighten out those legs. You remember, anytime you want to ease off the tension in the muscles, just stand up, yeah, anytime you need to. Stand up, have a little shake out. Shall we try and go a little bit lower? Okay, so the idea is ultimately, you'll have your feet really wide and you'll be all the way down really low. But I want you to see for yourself how low you can go. So, get yourselves into position, nice comfortable starting position. We'll start just by bending those knees and sinking down towards the floor. And remember that pelvic tilt. Make a little correction if you need to, yeah? So, again, let's go. I'm just going to go a little bit lower and then bring the arms up. And we're just going to, again, hold it here for two or three breaths. Breathing slowly at your own level, at your own pace. Remember that, keep that front of the pelvis tilted up. Okay, one more deep breath in. And out. And stand up. So we've got another minute and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you that time and see how long you can hold that position. If you can hold it for a minute and a half, that's amazing. If you need to stop at any point, that's okay too. So let's get into position again. Sink down. Tilt the pelvis up at the front, bring your arms up. We've got uh, a minute and 15 now. Now if you can hold it for a minute and 15, that's amazing, but remember, you're going to keep breathing long, slow breaths. Feel the strength in your legs holding your position. Strength in your shoulders holding your arms up. Long, slow, deep breaths. Correct the pelvis if you need to. Oh, doing well, doing well. If you can keep holding, that's amazing. At the end, when the music fades away, we're going to stand up really slowly. About another 20 seconds. Ah. Music fades out. Very well done. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's tough, isn't it? Just holding one position. So that's enough of that for today. I'm not going to get you to do it again. Okay, we're going to do a bit more dynamic moves yet and some stretches. So, uh, but that was really good. It's a good one to practice, and it's really good for strengthening the legs. Yeah. Ooh. <sighs> I'm almost a little bit out of breath just holding that position. Isn't that good? Right. I feel a forward fold coming on. Okay, so let's do a forward fold. So with me, take a deep breath in, raise your arms up. Ah, big stretch up. Deep breath out into our first forward fold of the day. Oh. And we're just going to hang, taking a few deep breaths. Keep your knees straight and just let your body hang down. We're going to inhale, exhale through the nose. Each time you exhale, just let your body relax a little bit more, sink down a little bit lower. If your fingers are on the floor, maybe get your thumbs on the floor, maybe get your palms on the floor. Whatever is right for you, just hold it there, hanging down, feeling the back of your legs stretching, your lower back stretching. Now slowly on your next inhale, we're going to uncurl, slowly, slowly coming up, bringing your arms up. 
and then exhale bring your arms down very good let's do that again but we'll add the twist this time okay so nice to get a little twist into your back while we're in that forward fold so inhale arms up exhale forward fold hang there for a breath or two Now we're going to grab hold of one leg gently with one hand on the knee or the shin or the ankle and then we're going to twist the other hand up towards the ceiling looking up towards your hand if the leg that you're holding on to bends at the knee a little bit that's okay but if you can keep both legs straight that's great too Keep breathing gently as we hold this position. And when you reach your next exhale, let's bring that hand down to the leg. And then we're going to inhale, unfold. Slowly, slowly. <sighs> exhale, arms down. do it again we'll go to the other side this time so inhale arms up exhale forward fold a couple of breaths here and then grab hold of the other leg this time don't grab it tight just gently fingers on the leg, on your knee, your shin or your ankle and then twist the other arm up. <sighs> Keep breathing gently, in and out through the nose. And when you reach your next exhale, you're going to lower the arm down and then we're going to inhale unfold exhale arms down now we're going to go through that again no pauses this time we'll go smoothly from one position to the next we'll do it twice on each side so each one will be a roughly about a count of four so inhale arms up Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, twist up. Exhale, bring your arm down. Inhale, unfold. Exhale, arms down. Straight into the next one. Inhale, arms back up. Exhale, forward fold. So we're going the other side this time. Inhale, twist up. Exhale, hand down. Inhale, unfold. Exhale, arms down. Once more each side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, twist up. Exhale, arm down. Inhale, unfold. Exhale, hands down last one on the last side inhale arms up exhale forward fold inhale twist up exhale hand down inhale unfold 
and exhale hands down fantastic we're going to have a go at the swan pose next the swan I don't know if you can remember the swan we'll take this gradually I'm going to just sort of turn sideways a little bit here you can stay facing forwards so we'll start off just by inhaling and lifting the arms and pushing up onto your toes I want to get a little bit of movement through those ankles to start with so inhale push up onto your toes exhale feet back down again let's do that a couple more times inhale up onto your toes and exhale back down again one more time inhale arms up Ooh. exhale arms down when we're in the swan position ideally your heels will come off the floor and you'll be balancing on your toes so here's how it works I'll just run through it quickly. We're going to inhale, arms up. We're going to squat down and bring the hands behind. And then if you can, lift your heels off the floor and really sink down. Woo. You'll be better than me at this. And this is our swan position. The arms out like wings behind. And then we can bring, oh, then we can bring the chest up facing forwards. I want you to have a go. I'm not really good at this one, but I want you to have a go. Okay, so. Oh, I've got a bit dizzy. <laughs> got a little bit dizzy standing up there. Never mind. Let's have a go. So, we're going to start. Feet slightly apart. Let's bring the arms up on the inhale. And then you can lift your heels here and then squat down with your heels off the floor in one go. Or you can bring your heels up at the last minute but we're going to try and sink down on the toes as low as you can bring the hands up behind and hold that position Ooh. it involves a little bit of balance <laughs> take a couple of breaths Ooh. and then when you're ready stand up You're looking good, you guys, on this. You're looking good. Let's do it again. We'll do one more practice, and then we're going to try and hold it for longer, like we did with the goddess. We're going to try a longer hold. But it's up to you how far you go with this. But let's do a short one first for practice again. So inhale, arms up. You can lift yourself onto your toes. Then we're going to slowly lower ourselves down as we swing the arms behind. Right down almost sitting on the floor arms up behind Ooh. and then if you can keep it on your toes we're gonna stand up stretch up Ooh. and then lower your heels down on the floor again that's the thing now we've got one minute left and I'm going to see if you can hold it for as long as you can within that minute. So it's up to you how long you hold it for. Please don't topple over. <laughs> so here we go. In, up onto your toes. Bend the knees, you come down. And you take your hands behind. And you balance. And we hold it here. And I want you to keep, oops. And breathe and hold. Fabulous. Let's see if we can stand up. Oh, what oh. I'm wobbling around all over the place. Arms down. I'm just going to take a breath. I'm just standing up. I've just gone a bit dizzy again. That happens to me with my uh, with my blood pressure. <laughs> right. 
So yeah, don't, you should get up too quickly. But without coming out of that pose, it's really difficult to raise yourself up slowly. That's the point. But if you can practice and you can get yourself up really slowly, then that's amazing. Right, we're going to do some lunges next. So this is like more traditional stuff, just a little sequence of moves. We've done the sequence before, so you can follow me straight away. You've all done this before. So standing on the end of the mat, facing outwards, we're going to take one big step back. Try and get that foot as far back as you can. Just check your feet position. Imagine that your feet are on railway tracks so they're on parallel lines. You shouldn't have one foot directly behind the other. They should be horizontally spaced. Yeah, we're going to try and keep that back leg straight. Back heel is off the floor. Front foot is firmly down on the floor and just lower yourself down into your lunge. Work in your own level. However low you can go is great. And we're going to bring the arms up overhead. Palms facing each other. Hold it there for a couple of breaths. Fantastic. Let's bring those hands down onto the floor either side of that front foot. If the right foot is forward, you're going to twist to the right. If the left foot is forward, you're going to twist to the left. You're going to bring the hand up, twist up. Arms at six o'clock. One arm straight up, one arm straight down. Hold that position for a couple of breaths. Fantastic. Untwist, bring both hands back down onto the floor. Bring your back knee onto the floor. And then stretch up again and stretch back. Ah. Oh. And then from here, we're going to try and just raise ourselves up by pushing on that front leg up. Oh. And then step forwards and bring your arms down. Let's do that the other side. Other side. So, big step back. Nice big distance between your feet, both front to back and horizontally spaced. Lower yourself down into your lunge, back leg straight if you can, and then raise your arms up. Take a couple of breaths. Fantastic, hands onto the floor. We'll do our twist up. So left leg is forward, twist to the left. Right leg is forward, twist to the right. Hold it for a couple of breaths. Fantastic, hand down, back knee onto the floor and arms up have a little stretch back oh. fantastic let's see if we can just rise up without using the arms just keep the arms in the air and see if you can push yourself up oh. and then step forward that's supposed to be graceful mine wasn't particularly graceful <laughs> <laughs> supposed to be graceful just rising up slowly we're gonna do it once more each side before we move on okay once more each side same sequence let's take a step back we'll do the other side this time into our lunge and it's up to you how low you go with this find something that's comfortable but make sure you do feel a stretch those legs using the strength of the front leg to hold your body weight and raise your arms up. Oh. Fantastic, let's bring those hands onto the floor either side of that front foot and twist up. Oh. Very good, let's bring that hand down and then back knee down onto the floor and stretch up. A couple of breaths while we're here. And then, slowly, gracefully, we are going to use the strength in our legs to push ourselves up, 
rising up. Oh, bring that back knee off the floor and then take a step forwards. Then bring your arms down. Let's do one more on the other side. Last one. Big step back. Bend the front knee. Ooh. Feeling a good stretch there. Let's take those arms up. Hold the pose for a couple of breaths. Fantastic. Hands down either side of that front foot. Let's have a twist up. Okay, hand down, back knee onto the floor, stretch up, and final time, let your body rise up gently, slowly, slow motion, and step forwards, and bring your arms down, very good. Now, we're going to go back to that position that we were just in. So what I want you to do is I want you to just, let's go into a forward fold. So stretch up, go into a forward fold first. If you need to bend your knees, do so to get both hands on the floor. Take one step back with one foot and bring the back knee onto the floor and then lift yourself up so we are on one knee the other foot forwards now think about pushing the front knee forwards so we get a little stretch into the leg now if your right leg is forward like mine you're going to take your left hand Hook it across your right leg and twist your body round. If your left foot is forward, then it's going to be your right hand and then the left hand is going to stretch out. And we're just going to hold that position for a few breaths. Fantastic. Bring the hand back round to the front both hands down onto the floor we're going to change legs so swap over bring the other leg forwards kneeling upright now my left leg is forwards I'm going to push that knee forwards so we enhance that stretch I'm going to take my right hand hook it across the other side of that leg twist myself round open out the arm Hold it for a few breaths. Fantastic. Untwist. And we'll go back to the other side. So change, change legs again. Ooh. Same again, we'll do one twist on each side little bit quicker this time so push the front knee forwards feel the stretch bring your arm across open out ah. really good to get a little stretch a little twisting in your back and stretching in your legs at the same time ah. fantastic let's bring the arm around we'll change sides again So again, remember that little push forwards, pushing that front knee forwards. So we feel that stretch coming on and then take the arm across to the outside of the leg, open out. Ooh. And release. Fantastic. Let's bring those hands down. 
bring the other leg back. So we're now in our tabletop position, which is perfect because we're moving on to our final stretch sequence. This is my favourite part of the whole session, is the cat and the cow stretch. It does so much good to my back. <laughs> and if it's good for me, it's probably good for everyone. So, start in a neutral position, nice flat back, hands and knees. Take a couple of deep breaths. Now we're going to go into our cat stretch. So, arch your back up towards the ceiling, let your head hang down. Relaxing your neck, your head is just hanging there, and you're lifting your back as high as you can into that arch. Pulling your tummy in away from the floor. Fantastic, we're going to reverse it now into our cow. So, tummy comes down, head comes up. Now, your lower back should be concave, you should get that nice concave curve in your lower back this time hold it for a breath let's go back and forth between the two a little bit so up into cat arch it back up and down into cow Getting as much range of motion as you can. So into your cat, tummy comes right up off the floor, far away from the floor as you can. And cow, tummy towards the floor, concave lower back. Let's do one more time on each. Cat. And cow. and back into neutral. Okay, you might want to take your knees a little bit wider. We're going to do our child's pose. So sit back on your heels. Oh. Stretch your fingertips out as far out as they will go away from you. Lower your chest down towards the floor. And we're going to get a nice stretch in your back here. Take a couple of deep breaths. Think about just walking those fingertips away from you like little spiders crawling across the floor. So your shoulders stretch out. <sighs> Marvellous. And finally release the tension on the shoulders, bring your hands back. Push yourself up as you walk your hands back towards your knees. And slowly, we are going to stand up. Uh, if you're not up already. And finally, to finish our little session this morning, we'll take a couple of deep breaths to finish off. So. A big inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. Keep breathing slowly and gently and stay relaxed. Oh, oh I feel very relaxed now, I could go to sleep. <laughs> I feel a cup of tea coming on. <laughs> Very well done, that's our 40 minutes. Um, good work today. Yeah, actually, some of it was a little bit more, for me, more challenging than I was expecting it to be. That goddess hold, when we did it for a minute, that was tough, wasn't it? I think you'll, well, maybe you found it easy. <laughs> 
but for me that was tough very well done and we're back on friday for sprightly there's no body beats tonight if you're planning on doing body beats tonight uh, wednesday night we're not doing it this week we'll be back with that next week i should be on the road <laughs> i'm driving so um i can't do body beats while i'm driving <laughs> Um, very well done. Let's come and have a chat on Zoom. Well done. I'll see you next time. Oh. How are you guys? Are you okay? <laughs>